What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive VGC double battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shine and Pearl. In today's video, we're going to be using a Pokemon that everybody has been requesting on this channel, which is Hitmonchan. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button and join the Genius community. It really goes a long way. And while you're down there, make sure you bring those notification bells so you do not miss out on any of my videos. But like I just mentioned, Hitmonchan was actually requested in the previous video because the previous video I was actually you guys to leave me uh pokemon recommendations in the comment section down below and a few of you guys said hitmonchan so i was just like let me give the people what they want and i got my hands on a hitmonchan so this pokemon is definitely really cool and i cannot wait to use them in that doubles ladder but uh let's get started here with today's team preview starting off with the hitmonchan it is a pure fighting type and we gave it the focus sash as its item its evs are fully invested into attack and fully invested in speed and then we gave it the inner focus ability over the iron fist ability because i feel like he gets a lot more value out of inner focus Move set for this Pokemon is going to be Drain Punch for Stab and HP Recovery, Bulk Up to boost that Attack Stat and Defensive Stat, then we got Mock Punch for First Turn Priority and Protect for our fourth and final move. Second Pokemon is going to be Weavile, and Weavile is just so good all around. It's going to help any Pokemon set up because it has Fake Out Control, and it's going to help our team with Speed Control because it has Icy Wind and it already outspeeds pretty much any single Pokemon in this format. Other two moves include Ice Punch and Night Slash, and then the ability for this Pokemon is going to be Pressure, and last but not least, the item it is holding is going to be that Expert Belt. Third Pokemon on today's team is going to be our big special attacker. It is going to be Rotom Wash over here, and we gave it the Citrus Berry as its item with a Levitate ability, and the moveset is pretty normal for a Rotom Wash, which is Thunderbolt, Hydro Pump, Nasty Plot, and Protect. Fourth Pokemon on today's team is Star Raptor. Star Raptor is so good with Intimidate control, considering it is super, super fast and it has Intimidate. And plus, we give it the Choice Scarf so it can actually U turn out and actually go before any of our opponents. We got Close Combat, we got Brave Bird, U turn, and Double Edge. Ability is going to be that Intimidate. And then, like I already mentioned, the Choice Scarf is our item. Fifth Pokemon on our team is going to be Garchomp. Garchomp is such a good physical attacker, especially paired up with Titar, like we did with this team. He is unstoppable. We got the Bright Powder as its uh, item, and then we are rocking the Sand Veil as its ability, and then Sword Dance Protect Dragon Call EQ for a fairly normal moveset for Garchomp. Final Pokemon is going to be T-Tar. We gave it the normal moveset, the Protect, Dragon Dance, Crunch, and Rock Slide, Ability Sandstream, and then the item it is holding is that Life Orb to give it a nice big old damage boost. But guys, there's the Hitmonchan team. Let's hop to that Coliseum. Let's grab some wins for you guys. First match coming at you guys, and we're going up against a really cool team. This guy's rocking Latias, Pachirisu, Garchomp, Togekiss, Intimidate with that Hitmon top, who I think he's going to lead. And last but not least, he is rocking out with... Rotom. Okay, how should I go into this one? I could lead Hitmonchan, considering we do have inner focus and that works out really well for us. So I think I am going to end up leading Hitmonchan. I could also lead the Weavile, take that Intimidate, and then maybe just fake out an Icy Wind and kind of get some control. Could definitely be the play there. I'm kind of with that all day. So I am going to go Weavile, I am going to go Hitmonchan, and the next Pokemon I want to bring is probably going to be the T Tar Garchomp combo. It just seems like we get a decent amount of value out of it, but we do have to watch out for that Togekiss. Togekiss is definitely scary. I mean, I could go Rotom. Rotom's not too bad, but Pachirisu definitely has Volt Absorb as its ability, so that's another thing that we have to watch out for. But I feel like we get a lot of value out of the Garchomp and the Titar. I'm going to lock it in. I'm going to lock it down. We're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. But this guy seems looking pretty tough. It's looking pretty tough. Looks like we got a good opponent in our hands. Hopefully, we can beat him up with the Hitmonchan and get rolling out here for battle number one. But if I had to guess, he's leading the Hitmon top for Intimidate, right? It just makes the most sense. And this is one of the reasons why I put Inner Focus instead of Iron Fist on this Hitmonchan. It's because Intimidate is such a huge factor in the Coliseum. It's just like most teams have an Intimidate Pokemon. So it works out well. So he ends up leading the Hitmon top. Like I thought, Inner Focus is going to poke out here. And do I bulk up here? That's a real question. Do I bulk up here and get after it? Could be my play. Inner Focus is going to come out here. I think I bulk up, right? What do I Drain Punch? I think I bulk up and then Drain Punch. Because I can grant Speed Control any day of the week. Yeah, I'm going to go for bulk up here. I am going to end up faking out the Hitmon top. Or do I fake out the... Uh... Actually, yeah, let's fake out the Rotom here. Let's fake out the Rotom because he can't fake out my Hitmon top. I'm cool with this. I am fine with this. I doubt he goes into a close combat into my Weavile slot, right? I doubt that happens. I doubt that happens. But I love giving the focus dash to Weavile, but I feel like Hitmon Chan needs it. So I was just like, let me throw it over to Hitmon Chan. Weavile can uh, do some work with the extra pelt. So we'll give it that. 
So obviously Weavile outspeed, so I'm gonna fake out the road time slot and then have him either fake out my Weavile or fake out my Himachan. chan Well, that's what we're hoping. So we'll see how it goes from here. So fake out's gonna come out here. We're gonna fake out the road time. Himachan's gonna go for a bulk up and he might be going for a close combat in the Weavile, which could be, eh, I don't like that. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does here. Him on top is going to go for the close combat into the Weavile. The one thing I didn't want to happen, but it's all good. Hopefully Him on Chan can actually outspeed a few Pokemon. But he's going to drop his defensive stat, but I feel like he probably hard swaps out here. Right? He could definitely hard swap out. Um, do I set the Sand Stream? I feel like I don't, considering I still have Focus Dash for Him on Chan. It works out really well. But Leftovers onto that Rotom. Looking a little scary. Looking like he's definitely looking to go for a will o -Wisp. So I might just want to go into here and get after him. I might just want to double down this for time. Predict a swap maybe from the uh, him on top. Kind of roll off from there. So I could bulk up again, but I feel like just going into Drain Punch is probably a play. We'll Drain Punch this slot and I will drag. I could Sword Stance. I'm going to Sword Stance. I'm going to Sword Stance. This is just a nice chance to Sword Stance here. He gives me a nice chance to Sword Stance because there's a swap. There's a swap. Which is a beautiful chance to Sword Stance. I had to take up on this offer. He's gonna go to Pachirisu here, and what are you doing with Rotom? I feel like Will-O-Wisp is definitely the play from him, right? I feel like a Will-O-Wisp is an absolute must play for him. So we'll see how this one plays out here. Himachan does out speed, Drain Punch is gonna fly, and that does some nice damage. Some beautiful damage. I feel like this is a Will-O-Wisp. Uh, no, he's gonna discharge. Okay. So if he's gonna discharge here, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with the discharge here. The discharge is gonna fly. He's gonna get leftovers. I'm just gonna Drain Punch into that slot. And I feel like I just Dragon Claw into the right spot. Or do I bulk up again? He might hard swap back in. But nah, I'm just going to Drain Punch here. And I'm just going to go into a Dragon Claw. I don't want to go into uh, an EQ. It doesn't affect the Rotom. And it will hit my hit my chain. I don't feel like protecting him. I just feel like we have an upper edge right here with the attack boost. We have speed right now. I just feel like we go guns blazing. We go right after this guy and we start attacking him. But but great call by us to drop the sword stance and predict a swap out from the Hitmon Top. Because if Hitmon Top swaps back in here now, none of my Pokemon's attacks lowered. It's just Hitmon Chan's gonna go back to normal and Garchomp is still gonna be plus one. Which is absolutely amazing. I wonder what he's gonna do here. I don't think he's gonna swap back. I really don't think it. I think he's thinking about doing it, but I just don't think he's going to do it. So he swaps back into that Pokemon. I feel like we just kind of rip into it. He does have Fake Out after that, but... He did have a great call early on in the game to go into, into the close combat. I did not think he was going to do that. I was saying that. I was just like, he doesn't have the Moxie to do it. Then he puts the punchies on me, takes me out. But I really do like this moveset for the Hitmonchan. He gets some HP recovery back and he kind of just goes from there. The Dragon Claw is going to fire. Plus two. Is that KO? Does not KO. He's going to pop a Citrus Berry. And Hitmonchan should be able to take out the Rotom. No problem here. And you kind of roll off from there. Might be nuzzling my Hitmonchan. Which could be a problem. But still. We're going to do that. Bang. See you later. And I think he goes into Hitmon Top here, right? Hitmon Top definitely comes out here. But we almost get our Focus Ash back. We're at 124. I need more HP. Because I still have the Focus Ash. I actually need to go back to full HP. Garchomp dodges the Super Fang. Wow, that's a beautiful turn. That is a beautiful turn. So he's going to send out his next Pokemon, which is going to be him on top. Oh, it's going to be Togi. It's going to be Togi. Which is rather weird. He goes into Togi here. Um, you have T-Tar to kind of clean that up. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch, What do I do? I think I bulk up here. Oh, dude, this is tough, man. Maybe I should just go in. I'm just going to go into a Drain Punch here. But I feel like I outspeed. I feel like I outspeed. Oh, this thing could have followed me. He's gonna withdraw. Okay, he's withdrawing Patrick, so I'm, I'm all about it. He's gonna withdraw Patrick, so he's gonna go in the hit on top. And that the only, that's the only Pokemon right there that I feel like can take us out. It's going to be the Togekiss. The good thing is Dragon Call goes across here. We're still plus one. That's some mean damage. Dream Punch gonna come through. Give me my Focus Sash back, which is great. And we're gonna go from there. We are going to go from there. He's gonna go for that Gleam. The Gleam's scary, man. Gleam is scary. Oh my god. Takes out my Chomp. And we're gonna roll from there. Ah, uh, we don't have speed, which sucks. I mean, he can fake out for damage here. He can fake out for damage into my uh, him on top. Or into my him on Chan, which might be the play. Which might be the play for him. But at this point, I'm just gonna go into here. And I'm just gonna start dropping rocks. I just gotta drop rock size. I do have that lovely uh, life orb, which might might come up big for us. It might just come up big for us, but I feel like here, 
we have to go for a mock punch for the KO into this thing. And then we just have to drop a rock on top of that. Let's do it. Let's do it. Wow, yo, this battle's coming out to the wire. But I think he does figure out my Hitmon uh, Chan for damage KO. But I could have protected him, but then Buffett's would have actually uh, went after us. But he goes for a feint instead, which is rather smart. So he goes for the feint. Hopefully my T-Tar can outspeed. I am really hoping, but I don't think it can. It does. That's beautiful. Can we get the flinch or the KO onto that uh, Tokus? We do. T-Tar coming in hot. Yo, this is why I threw the Life Orb on this Pokemon. It is just so strong with that Life Orb. And we get a crit on. Who Who we get a crit on? We got a crit on the Hitmon top. Okay, that's totally fine. We got a crit on the Hitmon top. It's all good. It wasn't like we crit the Tokus for the KO. But this is why I put the Life Orb on this T-Tar. Makes him so much stronger. Makes him come up clutch in those situations. And he rolls out strong. So... Solid, solid first battle. All he has is Pachirisu left, and I feel like it's pretty much GG. I think we have this one on lockdown, right? I think we have this one on lockdown. I'm just going to go for a nice little crunch, go for that defensive drop, but I think he just cancels battle, right? Yeah, he cancels battle, and battle number one goes to us. Since we had such a good battle in battle number one with our last opponent, I want to give him a rematch considering it was just this close. We're hopping into our second battle, going up against same team, same opponent, how should we go into this one? How should we play? I feel like not leading the Hitmonchan this match. That was kind of a sneaky play by me, but it worked out well. Weavile is obviously really good, but the problem with Weavile here is going to be he's definitely leading him on top. So physical attackers could be tough for us. I mean, I could definitely go in the Rotom here. I do like the Rotom. I could go Star Raptor as well, just for Intimidate onto his Pokemon. But I wonder who he's going to lead. I really don't know who he's going to lead. It's gotta be the him on top first and foremost so i might just intimidate it and go into it like that so i'm just gonna go rotom i'm gonna go star raptor i am going to bring actually mm, i really like weavile like the speed controls are so big and especially up against that guard chop that could be nice i feel like maybe we bring out bring in weavile just for attacking later you now let's keep that let's go weavile here and then let's just throw in t-tar in the back end considering t-tar is just so strong and actually can counter up onto the uh, togekiss so i'm all about it let's lock it in Let's lock it down. Let's look to beat this opponent for the second time. But yo, that last battle, this close. T-Tar definitely coming in clutch. Him on Chan doing some work in that battle as well. But he ends up leading the Hitmon top as well. Come on, man. You going with same lead? I could have went same lead. I could have went same lead, but it's all good. I'm going to intimidate him, and then I feel like I could just Brave Bird drop him. I think that's going to be my play. Just go for a straight Brave Bird. I mean, he's, gonna, he's going to uh, make me flinch. So, you know what? I am going to set up a nasty plot. And I'm going to try to maybe protect you turn out and grant some speed control for the team. But I wonder what he's doing with that. He does have Discharge. Hmm. Definitely want to go for Nasty Pot. This sucks because he can fake me out and take me out. He can go for the fake out take out here. Do I swap into a Pokemon more so like T-Tar? And save my Intimidate? I feel like that has to be my play, right? I feel like that has to be my play. I just have a feeling that he's, he's got to be picking out the Star Raptor slot, right? Could be going for the ye old fake out, take out maneuver. Smart maneuver, but I think we're ahead of this guy. I think we're one step ahead of this guy. No, we are not. Unless he's, he's probably still going for discharge, right? Pachirisu? Yeah. Okay, so again, we are still a little a little bit ahead of this guy. Oh, he protects. Oh, we love it. We don't mind this turn. We don't mind this turn. Okay, that's fine. We are plotting up. We, are, we have the nastiest of plots out here. I wish I would have went into Weavile at this point. Would have been a nice, nice little turn here. Buffets are flying all around. I still have a Citrus Berry. Hopefully, just hopefully, my road time outspeeds. But I cannot go into a Volt Absorber. I just simply cannot. I simply cannot. Okay, so from here, what do we do? Do we send a Hydro Pump this way? I think we send a Hydro Pump that way. Let me drop a Rock Slide all across the board. Or, or, I could D-Dance. I'm gonna D-Dance. I'm gonna have some fun with this one. I think he might even swap again. He does not swap, but our Hydro Pump lands. And this KO, it might be able to plus two. Oh yeah, get him on out of here. He's dropping the discharge all day. He's gonna go back in to hit my top, and uh, we're sending the giant hands. Cool. So I'm trying to play a little bit ahead of this hit my top intimidate. I'm trying to set up my Pokemon so when the intimidate comes in here, we're not too worried about it. So he's just gonna drop a discharge. 
We kind of eat up rather well. It gets a crit on my Rotom, but we have a Citrus Berry that we're going to munch on right now. Get some HP back. But yeah, like I said, we're just trying to stay ahead of this Hitmontop and Timidy. You know it's coming in here, and when it comes in this time, it's just going to put us to uh, even, and we're still going to be plus one on the speed board. So I'm all about it. I'm all about it. And if he doesn't go into it, he's screwed. Like, I already have my Rotom set up. Titar's looking pretty solid here. Still have Weavile in the back. I still have Starraptor in the back. I really like where we're sitting here with this opponent. I really do like where we're sitting. So there it is. Him on top. Obviously comes back out here. Um, I feel like we just double protect. Like the fake out's obviously coming in high. He's going to go after Titar at this point. Right? I don't think he swaps hard swaps like he did last time. I think we just double protect. Block the fake out and go from there. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah. Double protect coming in here. No hard swaps from him. Great call from us. He's probably faking out the T-Tar, if anybody. And he's going for maybe a Hydro Pump straight after him. Let's see. He has sort of faint. Right, dude, this guy's this guy's rocking with faint. Maybe he doesn't have fake out. I haven't seen him use fake out all game. He takes all... Wow, that was really smart. That was really smart right there. Faint to take off the protect. I honestly forgot he even does that, but that was beautiful play by him. And now I can just go straight into... I think I can go straight into uh, the bird. Then I go straight into the bird, right? Or... Yeah, I go straight into the bird. We gotta pose a threat to this him on top. Because we know close combat just takes us out. We do have speed up against him. But I think we just straight up rape bird. Right into that him on top. Go for the takeout. And then we just run into a... Uh, Rock side? Rock side into the uh over time and maybe get a flinch onto him. So yeah, we're gonna choice into that brave bird. We are going to go into rock side and we'll go from there. Wow, great wide guard from him. Let's hit my top's rocking right now. He's all about it, but Brave Bird is going to take him out. He's probably gonna T bolt into me and take out my bird. Which is which is eh? Which is eh. But we still have a nice little rebound on the back end. Rockside's gonna get blocked. And like I said, he's going for that T-Bolt, right? He goes for a discharge. Smart play. See you later, Bird. Bird goes down, T Tar soaks up. And this one's gonna be close, man. We still have Weebow on the back end, who I really like. I really do like it. He doesn't even know we have Weebow on the back end. He doesn't even know. But I wonder who his last Pokemon is. Hopefully it's either Garchomp or Latias. We can get ripping at that point. We can definitely get ripping. So we're going to go Weavile here. I feel like I set up a D-Dance here, right? I feel like a simple D-Dance could be replied. Weavile coming in hot. And who's he going to throw out here? Son of a biscuit. Even worse. Um, yeah, I'm going to set up a D-Dance here. <clears throat> this is a D-Dance play all day. Do I D-Dance or do I just straight up Rock Slide? I feel like we, already, we have speed already. I feel like this is just an Ice Punch into a Rock Slide play. Yeah, we have speed already. This is definitely just an ice punch into a rock slide. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. He's gonna protect Togi. That's fine. And he can that Rotom take out any of any of my Pokemon? I don't know, but we have a chance to get a flinch if this rock slide connects into it. Rock slide comes through. Come on, hit that Rotom, please hit that Rotom. Don't miss the Rotom. Love you. Rock slide's gonna fly. Give me the flinch all day. All day flinch, baby. Give it to me. No, he's gonna discharge. Ooh, ooh. I think I still think we're fine. I still think we're fine here. The Citar soaks pretty well, and Weebot. Oh, Weebot gets paralyzed. Ah. Oh, that's a. Oh, oh, oh! No shot. No shot. We're gonna lose to that. Art man. No shot. We lose to that. We just lost that. He's gonna be able to outspeed and gleam me. Ah. Uh. Definition of ugly. Definition of ugly loss right there. Oh. Hmm. No good. That's ugly. That is ugly. Ah. Oh. Loose into a lucky double paralyze on a discharge. Get on out of here. <coughs> Get on out my face. That's ugly. Now that's the definition of RNG screwing you over. Thunderbolt's going to be able to come out here. That takes me out. No, we survived. But he probably outspeeds the tokens now. Yeah, come on now. Come on now. Come on now. 
Come on now, ugly loss. We definitely had a huge upper hand on that guy until he got the paralyzes on me. That is just rough. You guys know the deal. We are one and one up against this opponent, so we had to put him in the third and final battle. Hopefully you guys are still enjoying. It's still always tough to find teams in BDS. We actually left the Coliseum to try to find another team, and I just got paired up with this dude yet again. So we're going to be versing him again, and hopefully grab ourselves a winning record for today's video. But is he going to go the same lead, the him on top and Rotom? I feel like he is, right? It just seems like that's going to be the play from him all day. It seems like he does not have Intimidate. Well, not Intimidate. It seems like he does not have Fake Out, or at least he's not using Fake Out. So I'm just going to go Star Raptor, and I think I'm going to go Hitmonchan again. Hitmonchan rolls out pretty strong, and I really do like him. So I'm going to go Star Raptor. I'm going to go Hitmonchan. I really want to bring Garchomp, but that Togekiss is such a threat. So I'm going to go Titar, and I am going to go Rotom here. Right? I think that's our best play. We just have to keep our Rotom alive. Like, Rotom really gets a lot of value up against this Tokus, because the Tokus really does work up against a few of my Pokemon. My Hitmonchan, my Weavile, my T-Tart, my Garchomp. So we definitely need a Pokemon like Rotom ready to roll and ready to get after it. But Star Raptor can also do some work onto it, because Star Raptor hits like a truck, especially with the Choice Scarf. As you guys can tell, it dumped on the Hitmon top, no problem. It does mean damage to every single Pokemon all around. But let's see who he ends up leading. I feel like he's the same lead kind of guy. No, a little bit different. He goes patchy. He goes in with this combo right here. I mean, he has no fake out ready to go. So I feel like I could bulk up here and just drain punch next turn. But I obviously got a U-turn out and pivot. Uh, who do I pivot into, though? It's a real question. I could go into my own Rotom. He could just go follow me and try to eat up the shots. I feel like at this point, we just pivot. Go for some damage and... Do I drain punch or do I? I feel like a bulk up here could be really good because my Chan already outspeeds. I just think we're fine. Yeah, I'm going to U-turn out. We have our focus, Ash. If I could bulk up and then get off a drain punch, I can get a bunch of HP back. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. So let's see what he does. We're not going to hard swap the burn. We're just going to get straight in after this. I mean, he could also super fang me alongside with like a discharge or something like that. But the play, the normal play would be go into like a follow me and just start discharging out. See what he does. He does go into the follow me. So I'm, I'm all about this turn. I don't mind it one bit. I feel like T-Tar's got to be a call here, right? He's going to go back to full HP after his discharge. Do the Volt Absorb. It's just such a good combo. And we got to go into T-Tar here because T-Tar can circle pretty well. I don't mind setting the Sandstorm. I do not mind it. How many you turn out? We bring out the big dog. Big rock monster. Pyramantar, who I absolutely love. I just think his design's incredible. And I'm gonna bulk up this guy. I'm gonna get bulked up, baby. Take my juice, baby. <laughs> get my defense up, get my attack up. He's gonna discharge, he's gonna bolt absorb, come back up to full HP. And my Pokemon should be pretty fine here. I mean, he definitely has Hitmon top in the back end, right? Makes the most sense. I mean, that really didn't do too much damage. So I might just D-dance here. I might just D-Dance. D-Dance into a Drain Punch. Probably my play, right? Right, because I feel like Hitmon Top could definitely come out here. And the cool thing about, something cool about Hitmon, Tan, Hitmon Chan is that uh, he can learn Fake Out. Really cool Pokemon. Really, really cool Pokemon. Can learn Fake Out, which I love. You can go to another Follow Me. So he's just here going for Follow Me. He's going for Discharges. I feel like at this point, we just uh, Dragon Dance up. And then we go into, uh, we just keep getting HP back. And then by that time, I think we could just drop a Rock Slide and Drain Punch next turn and just finish off some Pokemon and kind of roll out strong from there. So HP is going up, back up pretty high, which I love. And he's going to pop a Berry, not a Berry. Not the Berry. But again, after this uh, D-Dance, we should be pretty fine. You going for another Discharge? It's got to be, right? It's got to be. No way he's going into the Pump. Do we think he's pumping with the Hydros? That would be a good turn from him, but I don't think he had some Mox yet. I just think he's going into Discharges all the time. Looking for Paralyzes, right? But that last battle, yo, I totally forgot to mention that last battle with the Paralyze. Get out of my face with that. That was ugly. No Paralyze here. I think I just said it, so yeah, they're coming in. Yeah, typical typical Pokemon stuff right there. Typical Pokemon stuff right there. Okay, at least my T-Tar is sitting here plus one. I can drop some mean Rock Slides, get off some mean damage, and hit him on Chan. I feel like we just keep dropping Dream Punches. We have to be able to do some good old damage here. 
But obviously, I want to go into the Rotom. I want to get rid of the Rotom more so than the Pachirisu. Because the Pachirisu is nothing without the Rotom. And plus, we can go for like a Flint Chance here with Rock Side. So I'm just going to go Rock Side. I'm going to go into Drain Punch. And we're going to get straight after this Rotom. Going to end up withdrawing who? Pachirisu. And he's going to go and hit my top. I'm fine with that. Hit my top, right? Yeah. I'm going to come from 65,453 miles away. That's going to happen. Rock Side's still going to be even on the tag board. We have inner focus on our hit my top, and we're going to be able to roll out pretty strong. So, ooh, Protect coming out from his Rotom. Not a bad call from him. Definitely not a bad call. Imagine I would have bulked up again. Ooh, I would love it. But I would have loved to get some more HP back there. So we go into that. I could, uh, hmm. What do I want to do here? This is going to be a close battle. Rain Punch going to get blocked. I don't like you, Rotom. Leave me alone. I feel like we go. Who do we go after here? Who do we go after? We know my T-Tar outspeeds everybody. Great. Just beautiful. I think we drop a rock side and we still go into a drain punch into that him on top. Or not him on top, the Rotom. The rock side is going to fly here. I'm going to go into another drain punch. And I'm just going to send it that way. Just so I can get some HE back. And we're off from there. But I haven't seen this hit on top use a fake out just yet. So I don't even know if he has it. To be honest with you guys. Which walls wrote them? Who are you going into here? Who are you going into? Back in the patchy? Tokus comes in here. I'm cool with that. I'm gonna drop a rock slide. And that's going to almost take you out. Can Drain Punch take that out? I hope it can. If not, Buffets will be able to, which is huge. We might be able to get a flinch onto the him on top as well. But him on top may close combat mean take me out. He does. That's tough news. Okay, uh, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. That forces defense drop. Tokus is down on the HP board. My T-Tar still outspeeds everything, which is beautiful. And now I can roll into a Pokemon like... Do I roll? I don't think I roll into the uh, bird. I think we saved the bird. I think we roll into our uh, Rotom here. I think it's a great turn to actually roll into Rotom. And... Rock Slide. Will Rock Slide KO? That's a real question. Because I could go into Rock Slide... And to go into a plot here. But I could play it safe and just double down here. I mean, Tokus Pride protects, right? I really want to plot. I really, really want to plot. But I don't think I can KO. I don't think pots to play. Thunderbolt is scary here. He's going to wide guard. That is old. How did I forget he had wide guard? How did I forget he had wide guard? How did I forget that? Does Rotom outspeed? I think Rotom might. It does. Rotom does outspeed. I'm gonna KO that. And then he's gonna gleam KO my uh my T-Tar, right? Yeah. <coughs> he KOs my T-Tar. My Rotom's gonna eat a berry. And who does he have in the back end? Pachirisu. And and road time. Okay. I mean, my bird can get some work done. The good thing is, we know my road time outspeeds, I think, everybody here. Besides my bird. This one's gonna be close. This is gonna be close battle. Coming down the wire here. I should have remembered he had wide guard. That could have been an easy, easy, easy double kill. Because that would just crunch in that too, because it was low on HP. And we could have just went from there, but we might go into Apache here, right? And Patchy could be tough. Patchy would be tough with the farming, right? Yeah. Patchy is going to be tough with the farming. Um, I think I might just protect him Brave Bird here. Protect and Brave Bird or do I protect and Double Edge? I mean, they do the same. Same thing. But Brave Bird is... Or Double Edge is uh, neutral this thing. So I might just protect this turn. I hope that my Raptor can actually eat up a shot. Hmm. <laughs> so we knew the follow moves coming out here. I gotta hope that my bird can actually eat up a shot. I mean, crits come out from this thing like crazy. I'm gonna double edge there. Double edge does not pick up the KO. And I, if we can eat up a shot here, we can be sitting pretty good here. He goes for the gleam. Eat up a shot, bird. Eat up a shot, Raptor. All you, all day. Come on, Raptor. Dude, these crits are killing me. 
these crits are killing me. I feel like when I use scope lens and super luck, I never get the crits as much as this guy did. This guy's getting crits every single shot, but yeah, this one's pretty much over for us. It's not looking good. I'm just going to run this battle. We go one and two for today's video. Not too bad. We lose the second battle due to RNG and then the third and final battle because I forgot our opponent had wide guard. Not a bad set of battles for today's video. Definitely wish I would have grabbed you guys a winning record, but more importantly, we showcased him on Chan and got him rolling in battle number one and pretty much showed him off to his fullest potential. So I count that video as a W for me. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you do here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.